guys welcome thank you very much for joining me in this video this is a pretty cool video i know i say this many times right i do say it, i say it many times this is a pretty cool video why not it is um i'm going to show you an exchange traded fund don't run away it's a cool etf don't run away please i can already <laughs> i can already tell a lot of people like why? why 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 would you guys do that come on the market's not so good you might want to look at this etf this is good this is good it's the number one etf in 2022 number one top of the list number one all right i don't know how else to say it i wish i could say it in other languages numero ena in greek all right hey right. number one this etf has the most inflows in 2022 has the let's say the yes the most assets under management not total like okay there's ETFs from uh, goldman sachs that say they have a lot of assets under management but for the amount of money that was poured in into 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 2022 into ETFs, this is number one, right? In fact, it's actually not uh, it's actually not just this year. Uh, as, well, uh, this year it's as far as how much money was poured in. Everybody poured their money on this one, but overall, it's actually an amazing ETF that has been performing awesome for quite a while. And I think no one might know this. If you know it, and if you have invested in it. Congratulations, let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of this ETF before, or if you have invested in it, I'll be very proud of you. <laughs> well, very proud, I, I shouldn't say very proud, that's wrong, because you have to decide for yourselves what to invest in. So let me take that back. But I'll be very proud of you for the fact that you even knew about this ETF, let's just say that. All right, the ETF is MP, MGP, as you see on the here on the top, MGP DBI Managed Future Strategy ETF. There's more on the list, the second one, the third one, and so on. As we go down, they get less, but yeah, I blurred out the rest on purpose. Not because I don't want you to know it, but because I want to make videos about them. So yeah, so that way um, we don't, let's say, um, throw everything in one video and that's it, right? So I want to I want to make more videos where I can analyze them for you. But uh, MGP DBI Managed Future Strategy ETF, you might want to check this one out. It is the best ETF of 2022. Before I begin and I show you more details about it, the holdings, what it is, and so on, uh, Mumu is a proud sponsor of this video. You can you can trade this ETF on Mumu. In fact, all the US ETFs, all the US stocks, commission free, and the entire Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and five free stocks if you want them. Use my link in the comment section below. Click on a sign up, deposit 100 bucks, start trading, five free stocks. Now, don't you want to beat the hedge funds? You want to beat them or try to be at their level? Not all the hedge funds. There's some hedge funds that have been uh, doing really bad this year. But in general, hedge funds are always, always one, two, three, 100 steps ahead of us. But with this ETF, things can change for us. We can seriously, honestly be on their level. Hedge funds can invest in traditional stocks and bonds, derivatives, currencies, commodities, real estate, essentially anything they can make money on. We can't do that. I mean, we can't be all over the place. I don't think anybody wants to, not wants to, that's wrong, but uh, you should want to. But I don't think people are interested in investing in bonds or der derivatives. People don't understand that stuff. And there's nothing wrong with that because we don't have time. That's not what we're devoted on. We have, you know, our, our day jobs and so on. So, um, yeah, but with this ETF, we can get our hands on stuff like that. Private hedge fund managers such as Millennium Management and Citadel are some of the strongest performing hedge funds, according to Andrew Beer, co-portfolio manager of the IMGP DBI Managed Futures Strategy ETF, ticker symbol DBMF. This is an ETF that seeks to replicate the moves or the opportunities of investing that hedge funds use, basically, right? So it replicates the performance of the average of the 20 largest CTA hedge funds, eliminating individual managed risk and this etf is doing awesome at that this etf basically does what the hedge funds does it invests in stocks bonds derivatives currencies commodities anything that we can they can make that you can make profits on some other holdings are u.s treasury bond future june 21 ultra u.s treasury bond future june 21 msci eafe index ts future june 21 two-year treasury note future june 21 united states treasury bill zero percent and so on a lot of things and a lot more and there's a lot more it's actually a very complicated structure of how this whole thing is set up one way to mitigate volatility risk is to adopt strategies implemented by hedge funds rather than having to choose between a variety of strategies another way is to simplify the whole process and just invest in dbi managed 
uh, future strategy ETF DBMF. So DBMF has a unique, creative, sophisticated risk mitigating investment strategy compared to the overall market. Convenient access to managed futures strategy that is not commonly available to retail investors. It has strong historical performance and negative correlation to the markets. All right, and look guys at the chart. I think this is a gorgeous chart, right? This is the five year chart. I'm very happy actually, to be honest, to have looked and found into this DBI managed future strategy ETF because I did not expect that this would be the number one ETF in 2022 with the most inflows, with the biggest percentage in increases in assets under management. It's still sitting around $33.55. The five year chart looks amazing. And yeah, so it's pretty cool. It's, uh, I, people, there, there's a lot of people who are interested in very long term investments, right? And uh, I think this is one candidate. I'm not saying that you should buy this, but for me it is. I think I'm, I'm very happy. In fact, I believe that if I can invest a certain amount, because now we, we have the luxury of using fractional shares. If I can put 50 bucks, 100 bucks every month on this, I don't know, I'll decide what, how much, but do it on a monthly consistent basis, I think, this, I think that's awesome. And, it, and it's more relaxing, there's a lot less stress, you don't have to you know, constantly think about how I'm going to find something that explodes and at the end of the day end up losing money, right? I don't know. Uh, so the fund employs long short strategy to create its portfolio for its equity portion. The fund seeks to invest in stocks of companies operating across diversified sectors. It invests in growth and value stocks with companies across diversified market capitalization. In fact, it has an awesome dividend also for 33 bucks and for being a nice ETF, for being an ETF that's outperformed the markets for the past five years, um, $2.68 annual payout dividend, 268. If you're looking for something for long-term investing, let me know if you like this. I think this is pretty cool. For its fixed income portion, the fund invests in debt securities. For its commodity portion, the fund invests in commodity futures through the wholly owned Cayman Islands subsidiary. That's interesting. It employs uh, quantitative analysis to create its portfolio. And its portfolio consists of technology, financials, consumer cyclicals, of course, also, like we said, treasuries and bonds and all that, healthcare, industrials, communications, real estate, utilities, and so on. That being said, I think this is an ETF that's uh, amazing, amazing. I like looking at ETFs. I really love ETFs. I love exchange-traded funds. I love investing in ETFs because for me, this is how I, how I view ETFs. ETFs for me are wealth builders. That's how you build wealth. I mean, on my Bull Market Watch channel, which I have, if you want to join us on Discord, it's awesome. It's an amazing, amazing channel. Every single day we come up with three, four, five daily picks for profitable trades. It's awesome channel. I think you will like it. If you want to join us, um, you can hit the join button under the video or um, in the comment section. I'll leave links and so on. But basically in my Bull Market Watch channel, we do a lot of day trades, swing trades, short term trades, medium term, whatever. We do everything. Anything that can bring us profits, it's, it's, it's uh, basically like the hedge funds <laughs> somehow. Uh, but yeah, those are cool. They're exciting. It's awesome. You know, like today I told them, look, I'm buying DHRL, ticker symbol DHRL. Uh, I'm going to get in at 60 cents. I got out at 65 cents. Well, you know, when you put five, six, eight thousand dollars $8,000, five cents is enough for the day. Uh, for me, it was enough. Um, but, and, and it worked out perfect. And many a WTI ticket symbol told them on my Discord at six bucks that it is a buy. I mean, it just like, what, like two days ago it was when I told them? And look at it today, it's already at 770, it's doing awesome. So yeah, you make profits from those, but you know, it's nice to take some of those profits, which is, which is what I do, take some of those profits, or maybe sometimes I take the entire profit amount and I pour it into an ETF. And then the, um, the initial investment I had made, I'll, put, I'll, I'll go back again for a short-term trade or a medium or a swing trade and so on. But always, 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 I, in, this is what I do. I always do this. I take profits and I pour them into ETFs, ETFs that I think are great. ITOT, awesome ETF, right, uh, in my opinion. Um, so that's what I do because if I just, don't, if I don't do that, I'm going to be tempted to use profits and initial investments back again or, or in my personal life. And then at the end of the day, what am I saving? What am I doing? You know, because I have two kids. I have to be serious also. I can't be joking around. You know, when you have two kids, you have to think about their future. So uh, I think this is awesome. 
and uh, that's what I do, really. That's basically it. I mean, I just take some of my profits and I pour them into ETFs and let them go for years. And those ETFs are the ones who are going to build wealth for me. Um, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I wish you all the best. Take care.